have a little viewpoint over there, you can see the other end. There's not much left of it. But what you can see here is this is the this uh, piece here that's laying across the ground was put up and over to hold. It's like a crane kind of that uh, or a drag line. So that's where the stacker was. And then the factory part of the boat is all in behind here where the shaker tables and everything were. But this is a this is an immensely huge boat, and you can see how they constructed these ponds because the whole thing was floating. And so by moving that pond across the valley, this thing would drop its big uh, digging boom in, and then that's what stacked. I mean, look at all the tails. This thing went up the creek, and this is about as, it, like I said, it, it, it dredged as far as it could get until it couldn't handle the heavy boulders anymore, and um, this is where she lay. Now, they don't have the sign up. They probably put that out in the... They got one of those little metal signs that has a picture of it back in the day, and then, you know, kind of just maybe over there, but uh, they'll probably take it down in the winter. But it's a good overview of, of, of this area. Now, this is just French Gulch. This is kind of the one of the last remaining ones. It hasn't been developed up this far. The Swan River is just downstream, and it was exactly the same story. Big dredging and then lots of mines off to the side. And then the Blue River, right through town, which has been totally redeveloped, also looked just like this. So if you had, if you had a couple hundred thousand dollars in your pocket in, like, 1968, you could have bought the entire town of Breckenridge and the post office. It was basically a ghost town. There was nobody living here, and the ski areas hadn't been developed yet, and so it was one of these true mining ghost towns. There was nothing up here except for the old mine stuff. Of course, then they came in and put the ski area in, and from there, the whole land use and the concept has changed. And in fact, there's still enough gold. There's a, there's a large disseminated gold deposit that was drilled in these hills behind us here, um, far 